Welcome to my open studio. In this video, I'm gonna show you the second part, the finishing stage of a portrait I did with pencil. The first part of this project was to construct the head and to build it in simple forms. The shapes creating these planes of the forms according to the anatomy and the likeness of the sitter. But now in this video, I'm going to focus on the rendering stage and you'll be able to witness about 10 minutes continuous work around a specific area, around the mouth where I do touch a little bit of the nose. The important thing is to do each feature in accordance to the bigger mass of the head, to not isolate features by themselves because they might not play together with the rest of the head. The model is there to guide us. You have to trust your instinct when you're drawing and don't be too strict belonging and depending on the model. Make sure you free yourself and play around with all these forms as nature did it. That way you're gonna have a rhythm of your own and you never know where that's gonna take you. So enjoy this video. If you want to see more of this class, you can go to my website and take and select any other, other videos there into your collection to learn from. Now we can focus on this medium form around the half orange type of shape around the mouth. You can go and say, okay, this darker around here also goes darker towards the bottom. And then on the other side, it goes from here around. From the corner of the mouth here, there is another plane that goes down. And that's when all these muscles kind of meet up in this corner, making that kind of spiraling darkness there. There's a band of halftone coming down, wanting to get that smaller form interrupting that bigger, nice form that we defined at the beginning with the sphere. So now this is getting darker towards the bottom of that egg shape, so all this stuff is gonna be gradually darker. around the mouth. The lightest part, since it's cylindrical, we have to look at where the light hits. And right now I'm thinking that it's hitting it around here. And that's where the light part is, as is the tipping point there on the top part of the upper lip. Getting a bit darker as it turns around the other side. Also transitions are soft. The thing with the drawing is that it has to be pretty precise to get to this level because if something is missing in the drawing, it will show up extremely obvious at this stage. So that's another thing they have to consider. But if something is not working at this stage, it's make sure it's the drawing and the understanding of the forms and all that. And that's what takes time. We are sometimes too hungry to go into this type of uh, rendering and all that and paint, but the uh, structure underneath is what has to be in place for those kind of decorations to be, you know, to exist nicely. You see the nose needs to have some rendering, so that's a smaller form coming out of this nice egg shape, still catching light because it's, it's the closest thing to us in the face. So I'm gonna make that fold. Maybe I can dedicate another video to each feature and understanding it from different angles 
so you guys can understand more in depth each feature. Maybe that'll be a cool idea. So the side of the nose has to be darker because it's away, it's getting away from the light before it finds the other forms. But it's very subtle, you don't want to exaggerate that. So you want to go so soft that you hardly see the transition take place. And it becomes dark towards the bottom really quick too. This edge is almost invisible, so I'm just gonna suggest it. Like the reference is suggesting it. I'm not gonna define it that much, maybe here. And I'm doing lines across the form so they help me understand how things are moving. Even when we're doing this stage, we have to go back to drawing, specifically look at those little shifts and adjust them, maintaining the soft transition of shadow to light. Keep in mind that when you do transitions, if the, if the object that you're drawing is like round, the transition has to be really soft, right? Because it's like a circular transition. Now, if you're doing something that has more of a change flat, then look at that and make it maybe more drastic, more obvious. So all these little treatments, you don't do transitions always the same. That's how you treat each form differently and get its own particular you know, look.
Let's go down to the area around the mouth. The lips are gonna go darker towards the edges as it folds into the muscles there. And also in the middle, getting that articulation of here going straight up, then down, finding that middle, and then going around towards the back, even creating a shadow in that small shape at the end there. So that will be part of a smaller form within that medium form of the mouth area. There's a little band of light that we see there. We have to understand that that's like the circular form of the bottom before it hits the, the tip of the chin there. From the shadow there, it goes some half tone wanting to wrap around towards that corner of the lip see that band there that's what it's doing it's kind of wrapping around the, ba the back and on this side the same thing is happening but may mainly towards us it goes darker and then the transition has to be soft again because that's a volume that goes round into the shadow To continue with this class, go to my website, cesarsantos.com, sign in, and you can add any videos you want to your collection.